Why do you think, and feel free to give out a theory here, a little conspiracy theory. Why do you think LeBron James did not play in this basketball contest on national I don't network mind television? I'm giving you a conspiracy theory because it's only right in this case. And I'm going to put a bow on it at the end. First, I talk about Anthony Davis not wanting to be in New Orleans long term in September. Woj breaks the news in January to validate it. Then Rich Paul makes a statement about he it. He does. Then Anthony Davis Sr. comes out and lets the Celtics know that I don't want my son to play for you. And then Anthony Davis comes out and addresses the media. And then all of a sudden, the Lakers do an offer. And we hear it's a low ball offer. And LeBron James, I'm pretty sure, isn't happy to hear that the team was pump let's, faking let's on its initial look, offer. Let's take a look at the Woj it, tweet. Let's take a look at the Woj tweet that details the offer. It says, in the Lakers' first offer to the Pelicans for Anthony Davis, L.A. offered Lonzo Ball, Cal Kuzma, Rajon Rondo, and, wait for it, Michael Beasley and a first-round pick. So you think LeBron James sees this Woj tweet and, be, and reacts how? Here's how I know he sees the Woj tweet, and that's what I meant by wrapping a bow on this. LeBron James is savvy enough to know at this point of his career, after dealing with an injury that cost him to miss 17 straight games, the most that he's done at this point of his career, now that has to expedite the timeline. And once those series of events become public about Anthony Davis, I mentioned that that gave the Lakers basically a 10-day window to get a deal done. And so for LeBron, it's like, wait a minute, I just came back from a groin injury. We're not going to be favorite against the Warriors if I play or not. I just did 40 minutes. I'm clearly not 100% at this point. Why go out there and risk it when I want to fall back and allow the young players to continue to foster their value? Now, here's what I want to caution as I acknowledge. All of a sudden now, he's watching the Super Bowl. What does he want? He wants breaking Woj news tweet. from Woj. He, he wants, wants breaking, breaking news, news from, from NBA insiders. He wants his team to move. It is obvious. And if I'm New Orleans and I'm on the phone with the Lakers and I hear the names Stevenson, Rondo, and Beasley in the deal, I'm like, y'all not serious. Voicemail, 310-213-323. Just give me a shot when you get serious. I mean, could this just be the first offer? Could this just be like an, the opening salvo of a negotiation that they know they won't accept, but just to get the, the conversation moving? They don't have time to get a conversation moving because of all of the things I just said. Now, how about this, though? The Lakers offer, whether it's in February or in June, ain't going to be much different, okay? So if you're the Pelicans, you don't have to rush. And also, I want to do a caution. The Los Angeles Lakers allowed Julius Randle to walk, to walk this offseason. He now is on the Pelicans roster. So if you trade for another four or five Lakers, you almost got Los Angeles in New Orleans from last season. Do you really want that? That's what's going to make this fascinating to see if it's uh, able to come to fruition.